Hello YouTube world, this is Johnny Mo coming to you with a very special video tonight. I know I've been uploading a lot of videos. Took a couple weeks break, so I'd have a little bit of free time to do some more videos. <clears throat> I wanted to, when I got home, I'm running a basketball camp for girls at the local high school here. And uh, I just got home and I read some emails. Um, got a lot of questions about my Toro. So I did a review of it, but I want to try to answer some questions. I want to clear up some misconceptions. And I want to make sure that everyone knows that I'm not downing anybody. I'm not, you know, disagreeing with anyone. But I want to give you the history of X Mark and Toro. I'm very well schooled in this. Um, X Mark rules the roost around here, and <clears throat> so I'm going to give you a little bit of history, let you know uh, how this come about. So X Mark becomes the king of the mowers. Uh, I believe they still are king of the mowers. And so what happened was Toro bought X Mark. X Mark instantly the Toro they changed the Toro design to the Turbo Force deck. Uh, they took their blades, they took their spindles. They, the designs are the basically exactly the same. And the idea that Toro is not as commercial as X Mark, um, it's just not true. If anything, Toro is probably built just the same. Now there's different levels to the Toros and the X Mark series. You have the AS series, you have the X series, you have the, the 6,000, the 5,000, 3,000, 2,000. 3,000 is the entry level uh, commercial. It has 12 cc pumps. If you want the bigger cc pumps, you got to go up to the 6,000 series. And also with the, the big X series, the, you know, the big one for X mark is the same way. So you have different levels uh, of commercial quality and Toro's. Uh, commercial quality is excellent. I, I can vouch for it. I've had, uh, I think this is my one, two, this is my fourth Toro that I've had in 19 years. And they're excellent. Their decks are bulletproof. You know, I've never had an issue. Like I said, I can take that blade off and put it right on an X mark. Um, they are the exact identical machine. There's nothing, there's nothing different. In fact, if I want an X mark cut, all I gotta do is close that baffle down a little bit. And the baffles on the inside, if you look, are the same exact back baffles as the X Mark. So I wanted to give you a little bit of history. Um, what to expect from X Mark going forward? This is my prediction. I have a I have a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of inside track. I'm not going to say anything definite, but X Mark is going to price their their selves right out of the game. Right now, X Mark's losing uh, shares. Right now, X Mark ruled the roost in our area by far. Everyone grabs an X mark. I have owned two X marks down through the years, just two. A uh, great cut, just sucks in the morning. And if it's really high grass, if there's any moisture in it, you can just basically just toss the mower away because it's just a tough. It's tough to cut with an X mark like that. It just it'll frustrate you. Um, I'm more of an open design, a larger deck throat. I like the throw and goes. Um, so that's my. But here's my prediction. I predict that they're going to run Xmark right into the ground. Um, they've taken everything that they wanted from them. Um, so basically, what you're going to see is they're going to price Xmark right out of the game. Right now, to get a really good Xmark, you're looking at thirteen thousand eight hundred. And as as of right now, our largest distributor in this town used to, you know, Xmark used to rule the roost to the point where, you know, it was it was terrible to even try to sell any other brand there. Right now, to date, I just asked them about two weeks ago, what's your number one selling mower? Ferris is the number one selling mower up there right now. Xmark doesn't even can't even believe it. What has happened is is either Toro, the management, has decided that they're gonna price them through the roof until they just phase them out. Basically, that's probably what's gonna happen to Xmark. It's just gonna be it's just gonna get so expensive that you're not gonna afford it, and then you're gonna go look at others. And if there's a Toro dealer near you, you're like, hey, that's, you know, I, I have a friend of mine who's been X Mark for, you know, 15 years, and all of a sudden he looked at the Toro, like, man, this is the same exact mower. And it's a better cut. When you put the Toro and the X Mark in the same field and you look at the cut, you're going to say the Toro cuts better. Only because of the open design, the turbo baffle. Um, you know, I would say at one o'clock, from one o'clock on, the, the X Mark are fine. They're great machines, they do awesome. Don't have anything against Exmar. I have some against their price, but right now the number one selling machine in our area by far, it's like 20 to four. That's that's the ratio that's going out the door. 20 Ferris's versus four X marks right now, and um, it's because of the ride, the ICD deck, it doesn't cut as nice as the X marks do, 
but it cuts pretty darn close and it's it's a little bit better it's definitely better in wet grass so you know x marks you know going to lose some share around here and so i wanted to give you a little update uh just wanted to clear up some controversy on one of my videos i a guy you know i mentioned that you know they're the same mower but they're not quite as commercial you know it just depends on which one you get if you get the 6000 series you're getting the cream of the crop you know that's that's the cat's meow um i have a 3000 series it's plenty commercial i mean it's built like a tank and you know i've been using it for 1 month now and i'm destroying my lawns with it and you know just it just blows through grass and you know just like my older ones did the only thing different is when they redesigned them they went to the G6 type style I was one of the first ones before it even was launched. I was able to test drive and write a field report for the um, grandstand and the G6. So I was one of the first ones before they launched them to, to actually get them on properties and actually use them. That design really changed Toro's whole thing because I tell you what, with the gas tank in the middle, it's better on heels. They're much faster. The pump design is great. Love them. Um, so if you're looking for a mower, a Toro, Xmark, you know, I, I enjoy, I like both those mowers. I just think the Toro gives you a little bit more options to cut at different times where the Xmark is pretty time specific. Uh, outside of that, guys, um, that's about it. If you have any questions, you know, um, ask away. I'll try to answer them. <clears throat> Part B of this video, I just want to do a real quick video. Uh, you know, interesting topic happened yesterday. I was telling people, you know, on my day on how I how I schedule stuff and how I do things, um, you know, where I fertilize in the morning or I prune bushes or whatever. Excuse me. I would like to know what you guys, how do you guys handle the extra like fertilizing or pruning? You know, could you guys do a video? Uh, I, I talked to, I was, I, I just asked this to Seneca Lawns. Uh, so if you could do a video or just email me or, or, you know, put it in the comment section, some of the things that you guys do, how you handle your scheduling, uh, how do, how do you handle like your routing? Do you pack them in Monday through Friday or Monday through Saturday and you know work Sunday or you know how do you pack your lawns and do you have light days or you know I, I think that topic right there would be a great topic to do videos on and also we could learn a lot from each other because I, I you know I'm interested in knowing how you guys pack your stuff in say like your your uh, pruning you know how do you get all your pruning done all your mulching done if you do it or like your, your shrub trimming and you know different things like that. So if you're still watching this video at this time, can you please you know comment on how you run a schedule? Well, I, I mow f Monday through Thursday and then Friday, Saturday I do this. Or I, I mow Tuesday through Friday or I mow Monday through Friday. And so let me know, guys. So I appreciate you taking the time and you know ask questions about the Toro. That's fine. And also... Uh, your scheduling. Let me know how what you uh, what you do for scheduling. Thanks, guys. Johnny Mo, baby. I'm gonna take a little break from the videos because I hit you quite hard here last couple of days. I've had a little bit of extra time. It was raining today, that's why I was able to make these couple of videos because we got poured on. I mean, it just stormed hard, so I was able to make a couple extra videos today. So have a good one, guys.